never use weed killer. This is the purest ocean water. It keeps me from drying out when Lisa didn't wait till Fujimoto to finish. Whatever, as long as it's not weed killer, excuse us. And she zoomed off in her car. This is bad, this is very bad. Why do you think he's so nervous? Do you know? Because his daughter was captured, right? By Sosuke? But Sosuke doesn't know, this is a little goldfish. But that's Ponyo's dad, he wants to get her back. <laughs> Lisa looked in the bucket and asked, another experiment for school? Uh-huh. You know your teacher never likes show and tell. The goldfish in the pail stared at Sosuke. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you, he said gently. Lisa peered into the bucket and smiled. She sure is pretty. Lisa handed him a sandwich. Hurry up and eat your breakfast. Want some? Sosuke asked the goldfish. As he tore a piece of bread, he noticed something surprising. Hey, my cut is healed. He looked at the goldfish. Mom, I think I'll call her Bonyu. She came to me. She might be magic. I'm going to have to be very careful with her. Ponyo was not interested in bread. She didn't even look at it. Want some ham instead? And he held some out to her. Chomp! In an instant, Ponyo pulled the ham from the sandwich and began chomping away. Munch, munch, gobble. You know any fish that eat ham? What do fish eat? They eat gold. They eat fish. Food. Yeah, right? Do, you, do any of you have goldfish at home? I have a goldfish. Yeah? What's yeah. her name? Uh, Goldie. Oh, that's Aww. perfect. Goldie the goldfish. Oh, Mom, Ponyo likes him. Don't feed her him. <laughs> this is a special fish. I don't feed that for goldfish. Yeah? Are you going to call her Ponyo? All right. <laughs> so said Lisa. She thinks she's human. As Lisa drove along the seaside road, Fujimoto quietly followed in a submarine. Ponyo, there's our house, Sosuke said, lifting the pail. Ponyo raised her head to look at the house on the cliff by the sea. Okay, that's all we'll read for now. Do you like the book? Alas, do you want me to keep reading? What do you think? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'll read a little bit more. It's a big book. Sosuke and Ponyo. Sosuke's school was next to the senior citizen center where his mother worked. Sosuke was popular among the ladies at the senior center. See you later, called Sosuke as he headed to the school carrying Ponyo in the pail. As he did every morning, Sosuke got to the senior center to the school through a hole in the fence. Good morning, Sosuke. Hi, Yoshi. I'm kind of busy. Is that so? He wanted to take Ponyo to school, but he thought about what his mother had said. Maybe my teacher might get mad. I know. Sosuke hid Ponyo along the azalea bushes. Wait here, he said. He covered the bale with a large leaf to hide Ponyo from the cat. Ponyo peeked at Sosuke from under the leaf. I'll be right back. At school, Sosuke couldn't stop worrying about Ponyo. He paced the doorway. Sosuke! called Kumiko. Look at the new dress my mother made me, she said and twirled. Isn't it fantastic? Karen came over to join them. 